We're going to show you how to set up the SmartCom using a Suite app. While we'll be doing this on an Android device, this explanation is also valid for iOS. Auto configuring SmartCom with a Suite. On the main screen, you may enter the part number you want to configure or select a product category. For SmartCom, please choose Programmable Mast Amplifiers and then select the corresponding SmartCom version. This is the device configuration screen. In this case, no device is connected. To connect to SmartCom, touch the Connect icon on the top bar. The app will automatically search for available devices via Bluetooth. Make sure you are within Bluetooth range of the power supply and controller unit. From the list of detected devices, select your SmartCom to establish the connection. The top bar will display the connection status, and you may touch this icon to connect or disconnect. Start Auto Configuration. From the top menu, touch the Auto Configuration A icon to access the Auto Configuration option. Then, confirm that you want to start the SmartCom auto configuration process. At this point, SmartCom will begin scanning for available channels from all connected antennas, whether one, two, or three antennas. It will automatically select the channels with sufficient signal quality and strength for setup. Once the scan is complete, a suite will display the detected channels for each input. In this example, the unit has antennas connected on inputs 1 and 2, and input 3 is empty. Note that a suite assigns a color to each input. Yellow, blue, or green. And displays the selected channels for each. Keep in mind, these are real radio frequency channels, not necessarily the virtual channels displayed by your TV. Additionally, in the bottom right corner, the app shows the default output level. SmartCom defaults to a 25 decibel millivolt output level. You may change the units used for this output level in the settings menu within A Suite. At this point, the basic configuration of SmartCom is complete. How to modify the SmartCom settings with A Suite? Let's see how to edit an existing configuration on the SmartCom using a Suite app. Read the current configuration. Once connected to SmartCom, touch the Read Configuration down arrow icon. The app will load and display the current SmartCom settings. On the screen, you will see the channels assigned to each input. To modify the configuration, simply touch on the input you want to edit. For example, Let's select Input 2. Here, we can see the channels currently programmed in the input number 2, color blue, while the channels currently programmed in other inputs are shown in gray. Note that while on one input, A Suite will not allow you to select channels already programmed in a different input. You will need to unselect them on the corresponding input first. We are going to delete channels 8 and 24 by tapping on them. Once done, touch OK to save the changes. Adjust the input power supply. From the main screen, you can also modify other parameters. If you touch the DC icon, the different power supply configuration options for that input will be displayed. Here you can choose between Auto, On, and Off. In Auto, the device will detect whether the antenna is active or passive and adjust the power supply automatically. In on, the power supply will always remain active, and in off, the power supply will be turned off. Useful if you know the antenna is passive. In this example, we're going to turn off the power supply and touch OK to save the changes. Send the configuration to the SmartCom. Changes on A Suite are not automatically saved on the SmartCom. To apply the changes, touch the up arrow Send Configuration icon to send the new configuration from A Suite to SmartCom. Once the configuration has been sent, you will need to readjust the levels of each individual channel based on the input signal. To do this, touch the bars Adjust icon. 
The SmartCom will adjust the level of each individual channel to the output level programmed on the bottom right. Now, swipe left on the screen to go to the Adjust section, where you'll see the levels for each channel. From here, you can decrease or increase the channel output level individually using the down and up arrows for each channel. Note this individual channel adjustment is effective immediately and does not need to be sent to the SmartCom. There is a plus three decibel to minus three decibel range of adjustment. Working with different configurations in A-Suite. A-Suite allows you to save and restore multiple configurations for your SmartCom. Let's see how to do it. Saving a configuration. The first step is to load the current SmartCom configuration into A-Suite. Once loaded, save it by touching the Save Configuration icon. A window will open where you need to fill in the following fields. Name, in this case, Conf1. Description, an optional field to explain the configuration and make it easier to identify. Once completed, touch OK to save. Modifying a saved configuration. To edit an existing configuration, you just need to edit the parameters you wish to change and save it. For example, let's touch on input 2 and remove channel 8 and channel 24 by tapping on them. Once the modifications are made, send the updated configuration to the SmartCom. Now that the configuration has been sent, you may save it as a new configuration. Tap Save, enter a name and description, and confirm. Restore a saved configuration. To restore a previously saved configuration, touch the folder icon. This opens a section where all saved configurations are listed. Select the desired configuration to load it into A Suite. Once loaded, you will need to send it to the SmartCom by touching the up arrow send configuration icon to make it active. And also adjust the unit by touching the bars adjust icon. To verify that the restoration was successful, you may read the configuration and check that the selected channels match those in the remote device. Other options in A-Suite. In this section, we'll go over other A-Suite app settings that are not directly accessible from the taskbar. To open this menu, touch the three-dot icon in the top right corner. The About option displays information about the device and the app, including the reference, power supply, firmware version, and device serial number. It also shows the app version and its license. In the Settings section, you can enable or disable Bluetooth and configure the signal level units. The available options are millivolts or microvolts, but in the United States, the most common unit is typically decibel millivolts. The last option is Import-Export. This section allows you to load a configuration file that you created or received, and you can also export a configuration file to share it with other SmartCom users.